Welcome to another episode of Eat Smoke Drink. I'm Eat Smoke Drink and good morning. Today I am reviewing something super super special for so many different reasons. Um, I'm reviewing the very very sought after and fabled and I mean I've heard rumors that people actually engage in the Hunger Games and kill each other for one of these. The Ardbeg Lord of the Isles. 25 years old 25 years old Ardbeg, I mean, I love Ardbeg, and 25 years old in an Ardbeg is something that's very hard to find. Super premium, super rare, and super novelty. It is rated at 46% ABV, not too bad. I mean, hey, I always think 50% is good, but you know, 46% is not as bad as 40. So let's get tasting, let's get sniffing. Mmm. I can get that old, old charred wood, old used leather. It's like imagine if you're wearing sweaty leather pants and you're having a cigar and smoking and having a bonfire at the same time. I do that all the time. And so that smell of that sweaty old leather pants with cigar smoke, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting salinity, a hint of uh, rubber. To be honest, from the smell, it's quintessential Ardbeg. A little bit of ginger, candied ginger, sugar syrup, vanilla spice, sickly coconut, I'm guessing it is a bourbon maturation, mainly. And that peat smoke, peat waft, bonfire on the beach, iodine, I'm getting all of that. Quintessential Ardbeg. But the nose is very mellow. It's not, it doesn't hit you in the face. It just smells like the grandfather of the modern expressions we have today. When I keep nosing it, I'm getting a little bit more. I'm getting some waxiness in there. Like candle wax. I'm getting some soot. Like soot on a kerosene lamp. That smoke and fumes from a kerosene lamp. You know what, I'm getting apricot. I'm getting apricot in there. And a slight candied orange. A slight candied orange. It's amazing. You keep smelling it and it just gives a little bit more. Something you don't get too much on the modern and younger expressions of Ardbeg. That's just purely because obviously the longer it spares in the barrel, the peat subsides a little bit. The peat mellows out. It's still quite peated. It's still heavily peated, but it doesn't hit you in the face. But you can definitely smell it there, you can't miss that. And then with the 25 years in the barrel, you are getting these random complexities and notes that you wouldn't get with a 10 year old Ardbeg. Although the backbone, the spine is there, you're not getting it. Damp wood. It's like um, being by the pier. I'm smelling that rope, the wood by the pier. A bit of diesel. Absolutely awesome. But very leathery. And a bit of heat on the nose. Oh, I can nose this thing all day. But alas, let's try it. Mmm, no, what a bizarre note. What a bizarre taste. You think you know Ardbeg. It, it is Ardbeg. But I'm getting like a weird funkiness to it. Like, uh, I always say, you know, when you get to a certain age in the whiskey, I, I get this funky woody kind of taste. This wood, it's like imagining a wood being pickled. I'm getting a little bit of that. I'm getting the rubber, but soft. I'm getting the peat soft. The waft in the back of the nose, it's there, prominent, but not too harsh. And the sweetness comes through a lot more in this. Leathery, very leathery, oily. The finish is through the roof. 
Absolutely, absolutely. I'm still salivating from the flavor. It's just absolutely insane. Ginger spice, black pepper, white pepper, caramel. It's oily, like a, like a, no, I wouldn't say buttery, but a burnt butter almost. Now, someone told me to do this and try the oiliness and you can feel, you can feel the oiliness on your fingers. But look, being completely honest about it, if someone was to give you this versus an art bag of modern expression, a younger art bag, we'd be like, oh yeah, they're very similar. One is just milder than the other. It's only because I've had a shitload of art bags and compared them all side by side in tastings and just throughout the, the years that, that I can recognize that there's something different and unique about this. Like I said, it's like the grandfather of art bags today. It is refined, it is restrained, yet pronounced. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I would I would liken this to I would liken this to a Sean Connery James Bond, you know, like rugged, but at the same time a bit of refinement. And the younger the younger ones, I would say it's a Daniel Craig, you know, Daniel Craig. Yeah, that's all I can think of right now. I don't know why I'm thinking about that, but hey. But yeah, it's delicious, absolutely delicious, a hell of a treat. It is mellow and this bottle is expensive as shit. It's about a thousand pounds to buy right now. If you were to buy this, a thousand pounds to buy this right now. That is a lot of money for a whiskey. Why would you do it? Why would you, I'll tell you why you'd do it. Because it is a snapshot of history because it is absolutely a rare experience and it's not something that you'll get every day. It is nothing like the modern expression art bags you get today because it is not as ballsy, but it is very robust. Um, super interesting. And really, I think that this is what an art bag should be. I think that four more percent in alcohol would take it to the next level. But the reason why they didn't do that is because it's not designed for that. It's not designed for that. Cigar pairings, I'd go for something quite mild, actually. Usually for an art bag, I tell people, go nuts, do whatever you want. But with this, I'd go something quite soft and mild. A natural that's sweeter on the sweeter side, maybe a Padron natural um, or a Davidoff um, that's a natural cigar so it's not so heavy. That's probably what I'd go for because believe it or not, and this is something that you won't hear about Ardbegs, this is actually a relatively mellow whiskey for an Ardbeg. It's peated but it's not, it's not over your, it's not going to hit you in the face. So I wouldn't want to drown it with something that's, that's just going to waste it. Until next time. Thank you for joining me today. Please hit that like button. And if you like what you're watching, I always have super premium and rare and off the beaten track whiskeys to review. Hit that subscribe button. Cheers.